Hey, this is Jacob at SalesPad. Today we want to take a look at loading a customized report into SalesPad. Um, so a lot of times we will be asked to customize a printer report and once we do that we will send over the actual report file to the customer or to the, to the dealer and then they will need to load that into SalesPad. And today we're going to look at how you would actually load that report. Um, so you need to be on a sales document. So however you need to get to that, either through the sales document lookup, sales monitor, or in this case I'm just going to look up a customer. And from within that customer open up a printed document uh, or a sales document. It doesn't matter if I pick an order or invoice quote. It doesn't matter as long as I have access to the print button. So from here I'm going to go ahead and click print, which will open my print sales document report dialog and then I need to select the actual report type that I'm going to be importing. In this case I have a customized quote um, so I need to go through and find the actual um, default quote that is sent or the default form that is sent with SalesPad so this is the, the base quote here. Now I can't actually overwrite that base quote so I'm going to need to make a copy of that. So to do that I click on the properties button and from here click copy and I'm going to just rename this to quote example one and go ahead and hit OK which is going to save that quote. So now if I look through my list I'll have quote example one. So go ahead and select that. Now this is the actual report that I'm going to be making my change to. Um, if I need to rename it I can rename it from the property screen but I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this. I'm going to hit properties again and this time I'm going to go into design and this is actually going to take me into the report designer. Now from here I'm actually need to load the file um, that has the custom changes in it. So I'm going to go to a file and open and I have one on my desktop and this is salespad quote um, report here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit open. Now this is going to bring in all of those customized changes from that from that report file. Um, so this will have in logos, things like that. So here is my customized quote. Um, now I need to get this loaded to the SQL system or to the SQL server. To do that I go to file and save by clicking save this actually uploads all of these changes in this layout into the uh, sales pad table that stores our report and designs um, so once that's done then this is now available to everyone to print so I can go to file exit and go ahead and click OK here and it's going to prompt me to save once more and this is very important you need to make sure that you hit yes here and now I can go select my um, quote example one go ahead and click preview and this will show me my formatted report um, with the changes to it and it's going to use the data from whatever uh, document I'm on. So here is my newly designed quote. Now there's some security that's required for you to be able to do this. We're going to take a look at that real quick. So from the security editor we're going to pick whichever security group you're a member of. In this case I'm a member of the admin group and I'm going to go to print report um, and the main thing that you need is the admin mode turn set to true. That's what enables that properties button and then from the properties button is what allows you to actually um, create the copy or go into the report designer. Um, so as long as that is set to true then the properties button will work and then you'll be able to actually go in and actually design the report and load in your custom changes. Again this is Jacob at SalesPad. Thanks for watching.